What's up guys, this week I made this wooden spatula. It's part of the kitchen build-off challenge that a lot of YouTube woodworkers participated in this week. And basically I made a wooden spatula out of an old spatula that we had that was broken and useless basically. And I made it into a functioning one. I'll take you through all the steps. And I want you guys to know that there are a lot of other woodworkers that participated in this. So if you'd like to check out all their videos, all the links can be found in the description below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and I'd like you to know that I post brand new woodworking videos every Tuesday. So if you like what you see, then you can hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it really helps support the show. So uh, let's not waste any more time and flip our way into the shop. Hopefully that's the last time I ever say that. So to start off, I have this spatula part, and you can probably order these somewhere online, eBay, Amazon, anything like that. They all probably have something similar to this. This is actually a broken off one from my house. The plastic handle just broke off and it got lost and separated. So for the last few years, we've just been using it as is. But uh, it's, it's about time to make a handle for it. So when this project challenge came up, I thought it'd be cool if I uh, made it. It doesn't require that much wood, and that's perfect for me because um, I don't have a whole lot. But this is a nice piece of walnut I have here, and I'll be able to use this to make the handle and do some possible wood burning on it to kind of dress it up a little bit in the end. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm over at the table saw where I'm gonna be running my walnut through and it's about an inch and an eighth wide and I'm just gonna rip it right on through. By adding a quarter inch round over to each edge, it will make a more comfortable handle. So what I did now is I clamped my spatula handle to my vise and I put a cloth in it just so I want to tear it up. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is take my drill and what I did was I put this piece of blue painter's tape on it which tells me how deep I need to drill my holes because it all comes up to a certain point on here and I don't want to go any deeper than that because then it will just slide all the way or it will slide like in and be kind of funky and I don't want to go uh, not deep enough because then it will be sticking out and that's going to look funny as well. So the painter's tape is just a guide for how far I should be drilling. It works out really well and by doing multiple holes I can make a small slot that will should accept this uh, spatula. The initial plan when I set out to make this was to have it a kitchen one and I, I actually like the longer handle on it so I don't know how much it will use it in the kitchen as opposed to maybe barbecuing outside and I know it's not quite time for that but uh, if you want a inside the house one you can just cut it and make it a lot shorter 
that will give you a nice handle to grab onto. But what I've done is I've sanded it all smooth. I was gonna do some uh, wood burning on it, but I just I don't really know what I'd put on it. And I really I like the way it is right now, just all natural wood. And I think it's really gonna pop when I add some of this white bone polyurethane. This stuff is really easy to apply. That's why I like it so much. Basically, you just put it on a napkin or something like that, and you rub it right on, and you can really see that that grain really pops out at you compared to uh, the more faded look it has before um, any uh, oil or anything has gone on it. So it really, really, really brings out the grain, and I love the way this looks. That's why I think if I did wood burning on it, it'd just be really dark, and it wouldn't really... Uh, wouldn't really look as good, so I think that this was definitely the right way to go. So this stuff is pretty easy to use. Basically what you do is you rub it all on, get a nice coat, and then what you do is you just take a nice new clean paper towel and you rub it all off, and that gets all the extra stuff off it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another coat or two just to make it really uh, come out a lot more. So after it has all set and cured, I'm really happy that I didn't add any uh, any wood burning on it because I think it really would have been too dark to see and I think wood burning is a lot better for lighter woods per se, but uh, now I'm going to just take this handle, put some epoxy on it and push it right on in and just let it sit there and dry for a while and you'll be all set. Make sure it's in there real good, and I'm gonna scrape all that away. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And thank you for tuning in for my, uh, my video this week. I post new woodworking videos every Tuesday, like I said at the beginning of the video. And to the fans that saw my video Tuesday, I said I was gonna make a hard project this week. Um, initially I was going to make a wooden spoon, so that was my initial thinking there. But then I got to the shop and I was like, it is freezing out here. So I went back inside and I thought up something new and I came up with this. So I hope you guys like it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys Tuesday for a brand new woodworking video. Have a great week until then.